a backlog in police criminal record checks is impacting on the livelihoods of London cabbies, private drivers and many other professions. That is according to a report published by the Labour London Assembly member Val Shawcross. Under government targets, 85% of safety checks should be completed within two weeks, with none taking longer than 60 days. Well, today's study claims in July the Met completed just half before that deadline. Well, Val Shawcross joins us now, along with Steve Garrelix from the GMB's Professional Drivers Branch. Thank you for coming in. Uh, uh, it seems like quite a serious issue here. Just, just to make it clear, if you haven't got this, this record, this clearance check, you can't work. Absolutely. Uh, you, the, the situation we're facing is that there are literally thousands of drivers who've been licensed, who've been previously checked, and they're coming up for renewals. And th they need to have those, what we call DBS checks, done. They're applying in time, and yet they're still waiting two, three, four, five months and are literally being stopped from working. Um, so we've got a lot of people now who are in extreme hardship, um, and they're being prevented from doing a job which essentially there's no reason why they shouldn't be allowed just to carry on. Okay and Steve in, in your opinion and, and the people that you've spoken to what, what have you heard on this what's the situation on your perspective? Well um, multiple perspective once we picked up um, on on the issues for drivers there were I, I want to point out it's not just a driver issue it's a, everyone who does a, everything from a voluntary job through to perhaps working at a school as a volunteer or as an assistant this affects many, many workers within the London environs. Um, I wrote out and um, was advised that basically there were 20 vacancies with the police. Um, they've had months to regularise this situation. I understand they need a specific type of individual, but with the best will in the world, um, when there's a peak period at the passport office, they get in extra workers who have the clearances, they could have started to work on this. Um, to be that ignorant of the fact that this was pressing and then to get an email to say that there's 30,000 um, extra issues that they weren't expecting in terms of DBS checks of 30,000 people is ridiculous. But you've got people who have had bailiffs at the door, drivers who cannot earn a living, they cannot claim um, for um, benefits like people who are normally in an employed situation. So it, it, it's almost scurrilous that we've got to this stage. OK, Val, if it is the case that the police can't cope with this, what, what can be done? Can we, can we outsource this work? Well, I think the reason why we've gone public now is that we've been raising this literally for months with the mayor and, and actually we uh, had it out with him in, uh, in September, on 16th of September at Mayor's Question Time. And we said, look, if you're having trouble recruiting these people, you could at least allow a temporary extension of drivers' existing licences while the police catch up with this so you know there's a there's a relatively easy measure we're not saying that people who've never been checked should be allowed to drive but the people who've already been checked three years ago and are driving and there's been no complaint about it would be easy just to give them a temporary extension and, and roll them forward um, but clearly the police are in a very big mess about this they do need to get these uh, recruit this recruitment done and, and I think in the meantime transport for London should be uh, being sympathetic to the drivers who are affected. Steve, on that note, if, if there was an incident or a case and, and there had been an allowance to just extend a scheme, can you see the backlash that we would face there? I, I understand that and I will say that Helen Chapman, um, Director of Transport for London, has written out basically saying that there's nothing, there, there doesn't look like there's going to be much leeway from them on this today. Um, the thing is that um, when you are looking at even something like a car MOT, it's only as good as the moment the vehicle's tested. You do your level best and you hope that within something like a, a, a profession like private hire or taxi or somebody working in a school, that the person um, follows all of the guidelines. There is um, a, a, an additional £13 a year you can pay when you make your application to keep it a rolling application which is what we hope TfL will institute and, and other organisations. The message does not go out well from DBS on this. And if that was the case, people could keep that as a rolling situation. It doesn't... I think, um, as it's only going to be a temporary licence, you are starting to remove some of that, that inertia as an issue, whether somebody in that three years has been true and good. Our business is notifiable by the police. So if somebody has actually done something wrong, mm. the police are supposed to notify the licensing authority anyway. Right. So theoretically, it shouldn't be an issue.